Here we are, ladies and gentlemen of the Breakfast of Champions. Beautiful fluffy eggs with Chinese sausage. What's up guys? Happy Friday to everybody. I remember back in the day I used to always say TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. And when I first started my own business when I was 19 years old and Fridays appeared so fast, then I started never saying that again because if Friday appeared, that would be a bad thing because in most cases I didn't do what I was supposed to accomplish and I was already running behind. So that wasn't ever a good thing. But happy Friday to everybody. I had my workout today and it was just a okay workout i know i said a lot because the truth is i don't get a lot of good workouts i get i don't know excuses horrible lousy excuses but i worked out and then i had my first meeting for the day it was with the cleveland clinic that building you see that melted building that sucker costs over 100 million dollars to work out of so we uh talked about our social media campaign that we'd love to do love to do for them and then I got fortunate through networking and mobilizing people, no pun intended, but through like mobilizing people and meeting her, um, I became uh, quite okay friends, I guess, with the owner who, whose company does uh, over 10 figures, do the math on that. So that was a huge success. So anyway, yeah, I was able to have that meeting. I felt it was a successful meeting. We'll see if I actually get the deal because I pitch people every day about pay me money <laughs> that doesn't mean they're gonna pay me money but the point of business really is to at least get your door in show people what you do and then you never know what's gonna happen through there at least by trying and doing things and it was great because the lady who's uh that i needed to meet with not the friend that owns it uh she, her manager basically was the one that sat down with me today and oh. she's been in pr we got people driving that are mad but anyway i was saying the lady that i actually met with she had been she's been in pr for basically the past like 15 20 years of her life done it all over the united states so i told her about the monorail foodie event because my job honestly even with you guys my job is to ensure that we have you know a lot of people there my personal goal is 2,000 people is what we're turning around getting people to this event and the reality is the only way we'll ever get 2,000 people to this event or whatever number it is it can't just be me and us that's watching this video bringing people because that's only going to bring x amount of people so that's why we have the systems with uh, JJ that he's building that we've been over the QR code, the email database system. That's all going to be applied. Plus, we have this new way where we're going to get a thousand new emails uh, a month potentially. And then uh, I've been looking for someone who can really help us on the PR side that uh, can help us launch that side that, of the context that I don't have for that. And then randomly, I met with this lady today that I'm trying to get her to um, uh, sign up my company for to do all the social media for the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, or the keep memory alive part and then on the other side of it now all of a sudden this lady is going to be uh potentially helping us so we're going to meet up for tea uh outside of property to go over uh my business the monorail foodie event our business so anyway my whole thing is i think the, the answer to ensure that we have the most success possible is you can't just count on one single thing the the system that we're building the uh us right now bringing our personal friends and family in las vegas we need a plethora of every single thing all working in our favor to ensure that we have the best possible event possible so I can't tell you how excited I am it's just all these things are coming together all these things are happening in a very positive way for uh, each and every single one of us and then again at the end of the day that systems designed so we can convert five to ten percent of those people into the mentorship program which is obviously great for us so I'm gonna go to the bank right now and I'll be back Hi team, as you guys noticed, my energy is probably low and I didn't have a video come out this morning 
And the reason why is because it's attached to yesterday's because we went, me, Kent Wong, and my girlfriend, Ashley, we went to Black Tap and I ate the food. <clears throat> and five minutes of me getting home, I started throwing up. And you have to know something about me if you don't know. Like, I eat a lot of food. I, I have a stomach of steel. Uh, when it comes to actually getting sick, you probably won't see me get sick more than once every two, three years. And it's like, I'll get sick. Other than that, I, I don't get sick. I literally have a stomach. I could eat. I mean, come on. I eat Chinese restaurants, for heaven's sakes, that have some of the dirtiest food on the planet. I'm fine. But I got home <coughs> last night around 10 or 11 o'clock or something like that. And I just started hurling like bad. And we, I went to sleep. Me and Ashley went to sleep. And then around 2 in the morning, I start hurling again. 3 in the morning, I start hurling again. It's, it's just bad, like it was so bad. So I cannot stress how much I don't recommend going to Blacktop. Uh, I called upper management, or I called management this morning and then he blamed it on an allergy. And guys, I, I had an all American burger. I, I, I'm not allergic to hamburger. I'm not allergic to bacon, like so that, and then we called the uh, director of food and beverage. Um, he said that Venetian doesn't own Black Tap, so he would get someone from upper management of Black Tap to call me back. So, anyway, I, I, I'll keep everyone up to date on this story, but I feel absolutely horrible, and my apologies. Today, I just canceled everything. Um, I'm not. I, I'm like, I can't even tell you how exhausted and tired I feel. I don't know if it's just because I just I threw up all last night, like till three, four in the morning. I was just throwing up, so I, I took today off. So. Um, I'll get back to everyone on the resolution of this story, but if you're wondering why no video came out, this is the reason why. Um, everyone else, though, have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to each other soon.